Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So today we are going to learn function. Today we will be doing practically. In previous class we have understood the theoretical concept of functions. But now let us do everything practically. So what is function in cell scripting? A function is a block of code that is reusable and perform certain operations like any other programming language. So mainly function helps us to increase the reusability of code. It improves the readability of your program, make the program more modular and make the maintenance of program easier. So there are two ways function keyword then function name start with curly braces write all the statements or commands and close the curly braces. So this left side this one is the one method. The other method for function is just give the function name start the small bracket close the small bracket start with curly braces put all the commands or statements and then close it so this is the way you can create your function now let us do the same stuff practically so now here what we are going to do we are going to create a function and see how exactly function works so i am starting the program with bin bash that is cbang line and after that just a echo message and we are creating a function. The another way to create a function is just give the name of function and give a small brackets. Start the bracket and close the bracket. Then start with curly braces. Whatever the commands you want to write, write the commands here. So what we have done, the function name is disk utilization. Then we are starting with a small bracket and closing the small bracket then curly braces start one command we are writing is disk is equal to df hyphen h this will give the disk information what is this tick symbol already learned about it what is tick symbol whenever you want this command to get executed and store the output in disk variable this tick symbol will assume it as a command so df hyphen h once disk information is stored in disk variable and just you are messaging using the echo to print the message disk utilization is and then we are calling the dollar disk variable here so this message will print the actual disk utilizations now we have closed it so this is the function now how exactly i will get the output if i am not calling this function in my further program so after that I am writing a if condition and I am giving if dollar question mark is equal to zero means if the exit status of this command is zero then print a message this is disk usage report else just print a message disk has some error. Ignore this line because I have written has means this line as of now you ignore. So let us run the program. First let us give the permission ch mode plus x function.sh and then run the program dot slash function.sh so you are not able to see the disk usage report just the echo message is getting printed here why because we have never called this function once you will call the function then actual disk usage you can see so here i have commented this line previously what is this line this is just calling your function so this is the function name to call the function just write the name of function now let us run the same program so now you can see the disk usage report and actual disk utilization for all the disk drives you are able to see so i hope now you understood how to use functions you have to give the function name a small brackets a start and close then curly braces all the set of commands and close it and wherever you want to use the function just give the function name it will call that function. Now yesterday lectures we have created a case statement so let us see the case statement. So in the previous lecture we have explained we already understood like what exactly arithmetic calculator is doing and we have written each and every line here. Now what you see this read hyphen p is used in this block again the same line is used in this block if you go down 
again you see this block is same line of code and in the last also this block is same line of code so here what you are seeing some line of code which is getting repeated again and again so this is not good we should use the function to make our code more readable to remove the repetitive line in our code so how to do that now what we are doing here i i created the same program but in different way how we are doing it let us see so here we are creating a function called read input function and then this curly braces a small brackets and then the curly braces so this is a small bracket now this is the way to give a name of function any name you can assign i have given here read underscore input now we are using read hyphen p enter the first number read hyphen p enter the second number and what you have seen in the previous program that read input instead of this we were writing the actual these lines but now instead of that just we are calling our function so in the first block read input again in the second block read input again in the third block read input and again in the fourth block read input so whatever the repetitive lines were there we have just improved the function there now suppose if you have to modify something here just you modify here and everything will be reflected in the other areas like these read inputs you can modify here so what function is doing function is making our code size is smaller code is more readable even the changes to your code will be easier so this is benefit of using function now let us run this program and see it's working as expected or not so dot slash case statement dot sh you can see first is addition second is subtraction third is multiplication and d is division let us try c so first number we are giving 20 second number is 10 so the value is 200 means your multiplication is working perfectly now let us run the same program and check division this time so 500 and 20 so let us see see exactly your division is also working so now i hope you guys understood how to use functions how to write a function and how to call a function that's it about today's lecture thank you